So I already have the chicken seasoned. And let me show you what I use. We have chicken in here. You have, I have a two large uh, chicken breast that I got from, uh, we got from Costco. So what I did is I put, I sprinkled a liberal amount of uh, paprika all over the chicken and a liberal amount of this uh, special garlic and spices, garlic and herb seasoning. And uh, whatever seasoning you want, but we really like this one. And I didn't put any salt, extra salt, because this already has uh, enough seasoning. And then I just uh, took the chicken and just covered it really well. So it's been sitting on the fridge for uh, almost two hours now. So what I'm planning to use this one. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut one lemon. First, let me rinse it really well. Adding the zest of a lemon to a lot of my dishes. I think it gives it like that, that a punch of freshness, especially on some dishes. So I'm just gonna take before I uh, juice the lemon, I like to do this. So I have this, this tool, this is a, like a zester. So I like just... So I'm gonna put this aside because I'm gonna... It's a very juicy lemon, it's good. You know, when you're trying to cook healthy, guys, you have to find ways to give, uh, to add maximum flavor without uh, without using uh, unhealthy ingredients. I think by using citruses and fruits, like the berries that I use for the salad, you know, a mustard and, you know, a great and uh, good olive oil and different kinds of vinegars, I think that's the way to go. You know, it's like, you don't have to sacrifice a health. Let me just put this on the compost to do my chicken and also for my, uh, my salad. So what I'm gonna do guys, I'm gonna make an, avo an avocado salad, like a generic kind that I like to make. So it's like a basic avocado salad that I, I use already. So I'm gonna uh, prep the chicken now. The chicken is, like I told you, with the seasonings that I put in. I put a lot of, uh, because I love paprika. I mean, you can put any seasoning you want, uh, but I like to use paprika, this one, this kind, I think my favorite one. And this seasoning is garlic and herb. Again, any seasoning you want. I did not put any extra uh, salt, but I am gonna put some extra pepper. Fresh black pepper. Okay. And if you can, you can just cut one in, but in this time I'm just gonna leave it whole. Actually, I can take a couple. I'm gonna flatten them, but not too much. You know, because I wanted to have a uh, a little bit of thickness, but not, I mean, it doesn't have to be like, so I'm just very, very carefully, I'm just going to Make them thin, but you don't want to make them too thin. So this is great because you keep the kitchen clean, you know, it doesn't splatter everywhere. So look at this, look at this beautiful chicken. This is gonna be ready to go to the, uh, to the grill outside. Uh, but now I'm gonna put this back on the fridge. Uh, what I may do is I may, I'm gonna uh, sprinkle a little bit of this lemon set. But I'm not gonna put any lemon juice yet. Hi guys, we're back. And yes, I'm wearing one of my uh, salon aprons because I don't have a cooking apron and I wanna look nice, you know, I just wanna make sure that my shirt doesn't get all stained up. So we're gonna start doing the dressings for tonight's dinner. So the first dressing is gonna be like a lemon vinaigrette. Uh, so I have in here, some lemon juice, and I have in here a measure of a... Uh, and we're gonna put all the ingredients in here and I'm gonna use a whisk. I'm gonna use a whisk to mix everything together. 
much as a liter as you want. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna be using a tablespoon of a Dijon mustard because we love this. Got the mustard there, ready? Then I'm going to uh, It's almost the full third of a cup, but again, just do uh, as much as you want. So I'm gonna put the, the lemon juice inside of the mustard. Oil. So I'm just gonna put. Oil. The dressing should be like um one part acid, two parts of oil, not too much, and pepper. Again, you can always add more, but you cannot take out. Just let everything blend together. Yes! There's nothing like a nice, freshly made batch of uh, dressing, you know? Homemade, it tastes very fresh. So guys, take it easy on, on the lemon juice. I think it's too, uh, too much lemon juice, but, but dressings are supposed to be like uh, heavy flavoring. So once you put it on the salad, you know, it will dissipate and it will cover the salad because it's gonna give it a nice punch. Okay, so this, this is done. So I'm gonna put it on a ramekin. So yes guys, uh, cooking with Michael, you're cooking in my kitchen, so it's real kitchen. I don't have that much, a lot of, uh, you know, when you look at these professional made cooking shows, they have a lot of props. Uh, we don't have that many, man, because we want to have enough what we, what we uh, doing here. Doing here. Okay, so in this next dressing, I'm gonna use some, Red wine vinegar. So again, guys, like I told you before, uh, it's one part acid to two parts oil. So I'm just gonna take this measuring spoon, which is third. So again, I'm just gonna add almost full, almost a third of a cup. this very plain dressing you know it's sometimes less is more guys and this is very uh, so you let the, the flavors from the uh, from the avocado and the tomatoes and the onions come right through so the star of the of the star will be the avocado so Okay, let me just put plastic and I'm gonna put it on the fridge. For dressing number three, the star is gonna be uh, the balsamic vinegar. I don't know if, uh, how about you guys, but this is one of my favorite vinegar ever. Uh, it gives a real punch, you know, and so it, it really makes you uh, eating a salad like very, uh, like an, an experience. Uh, I think it gives it so, such a uh, deep flavor. Uh, so let's give this now. I don't know what happened to the camera. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna have, I'm gonna be making uh, dressing number three, and dressing number three is gonna be, uh, this is gonna be the star of the of the dressing. It's gonna be balsamic vinegar, and this is one of my favorite vinegars ever. Uh, it packs a punch, so you can get a great flavor to any dish that, that you use it with. Uh, I like to put this on chicken, on uh, on fish. I like to put it on on beef. Uh, so yeah, so let's make dressing number three, and the star is gonna be this. 
So like, I'm gonna be using the same measurement, so I'm gonna be measuring almost a third of a cup to all this measure of olive oil. Delicious. I'm gonna add some black pepper. And a couple of pinches of kosher salt. And I'm gonna make this a special dressing, and guys, I'm gonna put a little bit of uh, Dijon mustard. But I'm not gonna put too much, I'm just gonna put like this much, I'll say like a half a teaspoon. Put whatever you really like. A lot of people like to put anchovies on this. I personally don't like anchovies. I find them, I don't know. This is out of this world. Oh my god, you have to try this one. Uh, I'm just taking another ramekin. Oh my god, this is my favorite one. Oof. It's so tasty, guys. And this will make a great marinade also. Let me just put plastic and put it on the fridge. Okay guys, I wanna show you something. Nothing makes me happier than seeing this. My pets eating. How fortunate are they? You know, and I have my little Sasha that eating in the on the crates. Because Sasha tends to be Sasha tends to be my little my little food. So before it, Marlo finishes, Sasha always wants to gobble down his food all, also. So that, so it's almost done. You see, it's almost done. But Sasha is already done. She licked the plate clean. But look at this beautiful. Now Figaro, he likes to eat his food and then he likes to eat Cosettes and Lockies too. So. Sasha, Sasha, come on. Hey, Sasha. She's licking Milo's plate. <laughs> come on, go outside. Good girl. So Figaro likes to eat, finish his food and then he likes to go and eat the other cat's food. So what I, I was doing, I was putting too much food on them. So they were leaving it behind and then uh, Figaro was eating whatever was left over and he is extremely overweight. So I'm putting less food in, in, in the other two bowls. Okay, so I'm, I'm doing the butternut squash guys. I just, I cut the, the ends and I'm cutting the, the round and, and the skinny part. So I'm just peeling the butternut squash. Uh, invest convection oven is the way to go. It's like, it cooks so fast. So first I'm gonna cut it in half, and then I'm just gonna cut it in an inch pieces, like this. I go like in an uh, inch. And then I like to cut it like in, in wedges. So go half and half again, you see? So it's the same principle as the french fries. You have a lot of corners, so they get uh, crispy. And so I would like to add uh, salt and pepper to this. I like to add paprika. Lots of paprika. And I like to add some olive oil. And I'm just gonna toss them. So guys, like I told you, you know, I, I like to cook a lot of food uh, during the week because that way you don't have to cook like the next day or the day after. You know, uh, Matthew doesn't mind eating leftovers and I don't mind eating them either. So I'm just gonna leave them uh, whole like that because I don't want to... Everything cooks fast, but it, uh, it retains the, uh, the moisture inside. So 
So it retains more flavor, you know, it's, I'm just gonna add the big one, the big florets. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna, is that beautiful? Perfect. So let me get a cookie sheet and spread all that in one layer. Block over and yeah. So this, everything has flavor. Uh, so I'm gonna add some salt to the broccoli and pepper. I'm gonna add some pinches of Not too much, you know, because... You know, I don't know, I don't know about you guys, but I love cooking, you know, it's, it takes my mind off the... Uh, it keeps me out, out of trouble. It keeps the pressure out the door, you know? It's like, like I was saying in my video, you know, just do something that you love. And, you know, knowing that you're doing this for a loved one, for my husband and for myself, you know, that we're eating healthy. That's the secret to healthy living done. Find the things that make you happy, uh, make you healthy, uh, inspire yourself in creating something new and tasting something new. That's why I'm trying uh, the different dressings, you know, just be adventurous and just, you know, just spice it up. Okay, so I'm just gonna put this in the oven. Again, I like, I prefer Roma tomatoes uh, rather than the other tomatoes. It's because I like to cut them in half. And I like to take all this off. I like to take all the seeds in the pulp. I personally don't like it. Uh, like I was telling you before, uh, some doctors recommend that you don't eat that uh, if you have uh, digestive issues. Okay guys, let me show you. So this is how they look like after I clean them, you know? I took everything from the inside out. There's no, there's no seeds or anything. There's only, it's only the, uh, the core of the tomato. And this is, how, this is the only way that I will eat tomatoes. Like a quarter of an inch. You know, whatever size, whatever size you, you want to, to cut them, you know? I like to cut them this side because Matthew also likes to uh, eat tomatoes like this too. Again, his family, uh, they have a, this colon cancer in his family. Because darling, we all, we, we have to think the way I think. Uh, we are getting older, we're not getting younger, so whatever we can do to make our health uh, healthy and to put good stuff in our body and to help uh, to use the best cooking method in order to preserve all the nutrients on the food, the better. More onion, by all means, just use a couple. And I think I'm gonna use a couple of red onions because I, I love red onions and these are very small onions. Matthew and my husband sharpen all the knives beautifully done. A very sharp knife. This is the way I like to cut it. Mm, the ball goes. Um, I don't know if you know, guys. I'm gonna put another onion, but onions are very toxic to uh, to pets. So be very careful when you're handling this uh, this kind of food that if something falls in the floor, that you pick it up right away. Like I have a piece of onion Get on the floor, let me just wash my hands. Like I, I like to use xylitol, it's an artificial sweetener. Actually it's natural. Uh, it's extremely toxic to pets, especially to dogs. They go into uh, liver failure and they just die. There's nothing you can do about it. So if you guys like to uh, chew gum, sugarless gum, uh, be aware of where you throw away the, uh, the pieces because 
if they get a hold of, oh, of the gum and is there any uh, sweetener left in the gum, they could die. You know, so. Okay, so I have in here the onions and the tomatoes and I'm gonna add, I have two avocados. And I like to buy the avocados kind of hard, you know. Uh, this one I kind of uh, in between hard and soft. And I just like to slice them like this. And you have to be careful because you can, one time I almost sliced my hand. So I just. And you just take a spoon. I'm not making guacamole, I'm making a salad. So I like to have my pieces. Big, like this. Before I keep talking. So this is gonna be the base for all my three dressings. But in order for me to keep the, uh, the avocado from turning, I'm gonna have to put some acid. So that's why I, I'm, I, I have the lemon juice. So I have the lemon juice. I'm gonna use a little bit of lemon juice. I'm gonna put it all in the bowl in here. So I'm coating the avocado with a with the lemon juice, so that way it won't turn. Let me cool our power in them with the dressing. It's gonna compete. So I don't want to do that. I just want the dressings to be. Uh, I want the dressings to sing by themselves. So again, this is gonna be for the chicken. Okay, so I'm gonna put this on the fridge, and I'm gonna put like a tablespoon of uh, honey Dijon mustard. Just put as much or as little as you want. To add that extra touch. Like a couple of tablespoons. Mmm, delicious. But I don't want to put any salt. And the chicken. Actually, I'm just gonna grill it on my stove. Yeah, so the vegetables are ready, let me show you, they look beautiful. Ta-da! Look at these, the roasted butternut squash and roasted uh, broccoli. It's done, look at how nice and, and crispy they look. Just, I'm gonna put them on a serving plate, let me just get the serving plate now. This is the way I like to eat the broccoli, like very crunchy, you know, and roasted like this. I think the flavor really, uh, it's delicious. Thumbnail, yes. Beautiful. So I'm gonna put this on. I'm gonna start uh, keep them in the microwave so the pets don't get a hold of it. So I'm just gonna put all the pieces. So yes, guys. So this is very. Uh, Easy me uh, meal to cook. You can just do it like in a few minutes. I mean, it's not a few minutes. Eh? Like, um, it's once you have all the ingredients, it's so so easy to put together. So I have in here the sauce with the lemon, olive oil, salt and pepper. I'm not even put salt and pepper. I put the uh, gel mustard and I put uh, so the pieces of uh, what do you call it? the lemon zest. It's gonna uh, infuse the chicken with a lot of taste, no, and it's gonna be like so fresh tasting and so beautiful. Again, this is only for cooking. I'm not gonna use it for eating. So you know that's why I'm dipping again with the broth. Well, guys, don't ever do that. If you wanna have a sauce for dipping the chicken, just. 
preserve it on the side. Well, you know, we have so much the dressing already, so I don't want to add another, you know. Again, guys, this is a one man show, so I don't have the fancy uh, props. Um, Corel dishes, yes! Why not? Okay. Turn my heat. So I need to get the table ready. Uh, let me just get everything ready and I'll be right back. Okay guys, chicken is done, it's beautiful. So I'm gonna put it in this, in this, in this plate in here. Oh my God, it smells amazing. Beautiful. Yeah, look how beautiful it looks, darling. So nice and easy. So, oh my God, it smells out of this world. So I'm gonna put this aside. I'm gonna set the table and let's yeah, go. So Matthew's here, so dinner is ready. So we are ready to eat. So I just wanna show you again everything that I prepared for you guys. The avocado salad with the three dressings that we're gonna try. Uh, the roasted butterno squash and broccoli. And the grilled chicken, darling, with, uh, with lemon sauce. Yes, darling, so this is gonna be our meal for today. And just look forward for uh, you guys trying it. And yes, so Matthew, do you like it the way it looks? It looks delicious. Yeah, so I made three different dressings, so everybody has an option, you know, what's, which one you like. I have, this one is balsamic vinaigrette. This one is... Uh, lemon vinaigrette with uh, Dijon mustard and this one is uh, olive oil and red wine vinegar uh, vinaigrette and yes guys so anyway guys I uh, hope you like this meal uh, send me uh, your comments and you uh, ask me what kind of dishes you want me to make for you guys so again this is healthy living this is healthy meals for you so remember sometimes less is more because everything has to be fresh for your body and for your soul okay darling so until the next episode of Cooking with Michael, don't forget to subscribe and uh, share me my content with all of your friends and family. And until the next one, darling.